Hello guys, I'm back. Um, so excited to show this project to you guys. Um, it it was it's a recipe card swap hosted by Shireen, proud mommy seven seven zero two. I'll put her link down below. But it's my first time doing this, and I was so um thankful that she asked me to join the group and. Here it is. It's I, I, I you know my my card is kind of like really vintage. I don't know if I just hate my light to be honest, guys. Oh. Here, I had so much fun doing this, but a lot of headaches too. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> just wanna be honest, guys, because I couldn't find the paper that I like it's it's a Christmas theme you know but <coughs> I bought some papers at Hobby Lobby but I just didn't like it so I decided to make my own and um, it's it's not really embellished too much but you can see it's kind of thick and made it thick because of the paper first I used a craft cardstock as my base and then um, I just um this part here this triangle let me show it to back this this one here is the same as my front page but this one it was um a vin vinyl type of thingy but it has that texture already you know if you can see the details it has that textured look but I just kind of like went through my metallic paints like green, red, um, gold, and kind of like that copper thingy to make it more vintage or grungy. Okay, so I made this pancera with my, that felt, oh no, velvet ribbon. And it's like, uh, I just cut each petal and put them together like, uh, like this. And this one here, this center ones is one of those Iki Success punches. It's one of the new ones. I forget the name, but I just layered two. Oops. There and then um, stickled it with the fabric glitter or something, <clears throat> and then I glued a flat back pearl here. And I couldn't find a poncetta leaves so I just use what I had in my stash it's just uh, this fabric I believe there it's rose leaves maybe this that one and then um this I just you know freehand cut this one this banner and then print out this Filipino style and this recipe embellishment here is from Michael's it says recipe so it says Filipino style recipe I'm a Filipino guy so I had to put my own recipe here I'm, I'm sorry if you don't understand the the food at all but I have a picture so you have idea what it looks like <laughs> and I just glued a, a heart bling here and then um my my appetizer is a pork lumpia which is an egg roll uh, here's another um, in, part of this embellishments is the chili and then um, this mat or tag is made with um, a cardstock and I did my foil thingy again here if you if you know with the um that look a uh, combination of black and copper acrylic paint and then mud budget to seal it and a and sealer and um printed i printed the the um what you call this one i printed the let me see here the recipes and then 
crumpled it and then ink it up mm, like that and glued it and mud budge over the whole thing to get that effect I know you can't read it but in person I'm, I swear I mean I I promise you you can <laughs> you know it's just so glossy right now and the reflections but it's really readable or something so here's the background um this one I used the punch that's called purple cow I'm, I, I am not really familiar with that company but I got it at Ross you know that one the overreach one you can roll the paper so you can punch farther in the mi middle you know it's that that punch you know so I just punch it it's it's the winter collection you know but before I glued this I made a rainbow effect I don't know if you can see it but there's like a gold background with a little reddish tone to it it's just like a rainbow thing and I just glued it up and um, as you can see it's not it's not you know glued here because I want a room to put it perfectly inside you can see there's no glue here so it's lifting up but you know what I what I did with mine I reinforced it with the staple but I just you know I'm gonna let you do it I don't know cuz for me I, I don't mind having that staple in uh, um, right here in the corner it's I was actually originally want to put it but crisscross but I don't have enough room so I was worried that this tag won't fit in there so I'll just leave it up to you if you want to reinforce it with this staple so it's that one and I did the background thing here the red paper or bur burgundy and embossed it or something like that and then um, here's the picture of the egg roll lumpia so I just made a little tag stickled around it embossed it and this guys this one is um vinyl thingy that I got liners that has um adhesive you know I, I, don't, I forgot the name but I just got it at my um, 99 cent store you know I just glued it on a craft card stock and then run it through my big shot with this snowflakes embossing folder and then because it was so shiny and and then the the stress stain won't really you know stay in there you know it will rub off so I first I sand it first to have that rough surface and then stained it so there's that one I'll just insert it there so my second page here it is so let me see sorry guys I'm not really good in explaining what you know stuff here it's kind of like so late at night I'm so tired I have stuff going on tomorrow my daughter's party on Friday you know so here what I did here I punch a border here using this one I don't know what's the name I haven't put the name yet but that one and then um, and it, I just like stickled the flower and the leaves it's almost like a Christmas punch you know and then I just glued my fabric I don't know fiber whatever wired ribbon or something I got it at Michael's dollar bin Here's that one <coughs> and my second um, recipe is a noodle it's called Pancet Bihon rice noodle it's really good and this is part of the embellishments of the set of the it's 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 a it's buttons and it's called in the kitchen so it has like several 
buttons in one pack, you know. So here's that one. I did the same thing. Print it out and distressed it. And here's the photo. And then just use my corner punches. And you know what? This one, guys. Oh, like I said, I had problems choosing my paper. So I used my tissue paper. And here's the background, guys. It's the same thing. Remember that tag that I had, the vinyl one? Same thing. I just sand it to make it more rough for the stain or for the color to stay on it. <coughs> but it was so plain. The other one, see, it was so... Oh, my God. Where is it? It was so plain before I put this design here. So I found this at Michael. But I, I kept the other one plain. I, I just don't want it too much, you know. And this one you can remove and just insert it there. And my second recipe is a chicken adobo. It's like um, braised pork or uh, chicken. You can, you can use chick, uh, pork or beef or whatever. But here's the picture. Just for you to have any idea. It's that one. It's my favorite. And what's funny, guys, you know what? My birth, my my daughter's birthday party is this coming Friday, 14th. And I'm making all of these recipes. <laughs> it was a request, you know. So I'll make four recipes. What's, you know, on this recipe card. So here's the bag. And then I just embossed a, p a piece of like, um, strip here with that. Tim Holtz alteration, oh no, embossing folders, like that, and then, uh, I, you know what, this stamp, guys, it says, made with love, <clears throat> and then I just signed it here, put a hard, hard bling here, and uh, that velvet ribbon, I, this stamp, I don't know where I got it from, but I just, found it in my stack. It was perfect for this project, you know. So my fourth recipe, my dessert. I get the pie here. I did the same thing from the front and the back. See, it's the same. It's Maha Blanca, but it's a coconut um, pudding, you know. And here's the picture. Is that one? Looks yummy, 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 yummy. And then the background, he is a snowman. Same thing. Nothing too fancy or something. It's just, I just used whatever I have, guys. I did not buy except for the, this little embellishments right here. The chili, the pots, spoons. Other than that, I just made everything from the scratch you know that's why it took me forever to finish this and um and i hope you guys who receive this gonna like it and i'm sorry it's kind of like bulky it, it's really bulky i don't know i hope you don't have any problem of binding them together um in a way that's it i hope you guys like it and just Feel free to ask questions and I can't wait to receive yours and buy them together and try the recipes too for these holidays. Alright, happy holidays guys and see you in my next video. Bye bye.